Well, good evening and welcome into another season of Hoosier Sports Night. I'm Ronan O'Shea. Indiana football already underway here in 2008. Two weeks up, two weeks down, and two good games for the Indiana Hoosiers. After opening up with an easy win against Western Kentucky, it was the Murray State Racers who came into Memorial Stadium. Still not sure where Murray State is or what exactly they're racing from, but the Hoosiers had no trouble putting them back in their place. Well, all eyes on Kellen Lewis after running all over the hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. He would not do the same this week against Murray State. Getting chased here early in the first quarter out of bounds, ends up having to throw the ball away. He finished with negative two rush yards. However, not a big problem for the Hoosiers because of this guy, Marcus Thigpen, on this play going 67 yards, showing off the speed. He'd finish the day with 100 yards on seven carries and two scores. The two-sport athlete puts the Hoosiers up early, seven to nothing. Murray State now with the football. Nico Yanko, the quarterback, really making his first start since high school. Meet Greg Middleton, he gets the sack there. Indiana defense outstanding, limiting Murray State to just three points in this game. And once again, later on in the first half, Marcus Thigpen going in for his second and final score in the afternoon. Closing minutes now of the first half, Indiana up big, and Nico Yanko gets the ball stripped from behind from Ryan Mirando. Two racers land on it, but somehow Indiana pulls away with the football. The defense exceptional in this game, really all evening for the Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana will put that in for a score and go up 24-3 going into halftime. Into the second half now, Kellen Lewis splits the gap to find Tannen Doss, the freshman for the first down. Nine different Indiana receivers made catches in this ball game. Demetrius McCray taking it here from inside the 10 for the score. Six times Indiana gets into the end zone all of them on the ground. So the Hoosiers call upon Ben Chappell. They spell Kellen Lewis from the game and Chappell trying to work that dirty taste out of his mouth from the game at Northwestern. Work the Hoosiers toward the end zone. It was all Indiana in this one. Again, the final score, Indiana 45, Murray State 3. Certainly a good beginning to the season for head coach Bill Lynch. Indiana did not commit a penalty in the game. They also did not commit a turnover 476 total yards of offense. Casey Richards has more from The Rock. Two weaknesses of the Hoosiers last season, getting contribution from the running back core and stopping the run, proved to be strengths tonight as IU knocked off Murray State by a score of 45 to three. After a disappointing season opener last weekend against Western Kentucky, senior Marcus Thigpen gashed through the racer defense for 100 yards and two touchdowns on only seven carries. Oh, I feel real good uh, to finally get a run game going. You know, we got we rotating like three backs, so it feels good to get a few carries and seeing everybody being productive out there, getting yards and scoring touchdowns on the ground. But Marcus, uh, it was good to get him going, and uh, because he's such a threat, you know, his speed. The running back core, led by Thigpen, Brian Payton, Demetrius McRae, and Zach Davis Rocker, ran for a total of 254 yards and six touchdowns, all without the contribution of Kellen Lewis, who ran for 185 yards last week but only negative two today. They did a good job of trying to contain me. It's kind of frustrating, but you know, in the same sense, if they, you know, they're going to take away my run game and let us, you know, them run for over 100 yards, you know, let them combine to, to have so many, many touchdowns, and that's fine with me. This week, they weren't going to let him run the ball. So um, as a result, I think that had a lot to do with why, you know, the other guys. Throughout the offseason, Coach Lynn stressed the Hoosiers' ability to stop the run as their key to improving on last year's 7-6 and six mark. So far, IU has made great strides in that department, and it showed tonight as Murray State could only muster 28 yards on 27 carries. Well, we talk about containing the run all the time. You know, last year we didn't we didn't contain a run as well as we, we should have. So uh, this year, you know, we, we put a lot of emphasis on that, and uh, I think we I think we're we're doing a pretty good job for the first two games. Coach is having us doing um, certain movements inside that's throwing off the offense and how we come off the ball and things like that. Uh, our ends are a little bit wider now, so we have leverage on the uh, on the offense when they run outside zone and things like that. And uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job against the run. Now I end on a little bit of a wacky statistic. I mentioned earlier Cal Lewis's minus two rushing yards. How about his backup Ben Chappell? Five attempts, 14 yards. Who would have thought we'd see the day that Ben Chappell outrushes Cal Lewis? Reporting from Memorial Stadium, I'm Casey Richards, Hoosier Sports Night. Coming into the season, there were some that thought that just like Memorial Stadium, the Hoosiers defense would be a work in progress. But after only allowing three points to Murray State, they seem to be ironing it out. 
I, I think that's, if you're going to ask me one thing about our defense, uh, they're playing faster. And I think part of that's confidence, and I think part of it's playing together. They trust one another. The Indiana defense stymied Murray State, only allowing 28 rush yards and 10 first downs. Well, I think, you know, our defense, uh, we, we definitely talked about it this offseason that we want to fly around. We don't, we don't want to make anything about effort. We want to make about, you know, everybody being in the right position. And as long as everybody's flying around, we can make the plays that we need to. A converted wide receiver, Polk recorded 74 tackles good for fifth last year and hopes to make a big impact in the Hoosiers' defense this year. We're just trying to get the confidence down so, you know, so we can roll into these, you know, the Big Ten games. And, and uh, as long as we're flying around, you know, guys making big plays and we're getting sacks and, you know, it's a title for losses. So as long as we're flying around and keep the confidence high, I think we'll be well. With all the high-powered offenses in the Big Ten, it'll be important for the Hoosiers defense to stay on task. In Bloomington, I'm Josh Greenberg, Hoosier Sports Night. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Again, a good start for the Indiana Hoosiers, winning their first two ball games of this 2008 season. They've got a bye week on Saturday before welcoming an in-state rival, Ball State, the 20th, right here in Bloomington. Be sure to keep things right here on IUSTV.com. We have our first full edition of Hoosier Sports Night debuting on the 16th. Full coverage of Indiana football, basketball, soccer, and, of course, your favorite campus features from right here in Bloomington. That's all, though, for this edition of Hoosier Sports Night. I'm Ronan O'Shea. Have a good night.